Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing these direct fit LED license plate lights for a Dodge Ram made by Morimoto from Headlight Revolution. A link to these will be included in the video description. So far, I've been using these for a few weeks and I will be going over my impressions and overall experience so far. If you want a full in-depth installation video, that was released a couple weeks ago, so be sure to check it out. Headlight Revolution has also provided me a coupon code if you're wanting to order a set for yourself along with some other stuff. It's 4DIYERS, all in capitals, and will provide you with free UPS ground shipping on all US orders. Here are the Morimoto XB LED license plate lights. They come as a pair and are a direct plug and play setup, so no modifications are needed for the bumper or wiring. These will not cause any ball bears or flickering, and if you do need to take your truck back in for warranty work, you can easily swap them out to the stock housings. These were installed on my 2006 Dodge Ram 1500. The fitment years are from 2003 to 2018, so that would be the 3rd generation and 4th generation trucks. Included in the box is installation instructions, printed on a card, the lights, and resistors. Everything is neatly packed, ensuring nothing becomes damaged during shipping. They feature a gloss black exterior, and as far as I know, this is the only company that offers such a finish. My factory versions were grey, I have seen black versions as well. Both have textured satin finishes. As far as other aftermarket options, all are a textured satin black finish. With some of the smaller black accents on my truck, these being a gloss black, they flow perfect with the theme and look very clean. If you wanted to add a custom personalized touch for your truck, these could be easily painted to match your truck's exterior paint coat. The lights emit a pure white, which you'll see in a moment, and I do have some nighttime shots as well. There is no tint on the lenses. They are UV coated, so they're protected from the elements ensuring a long life, and use Osram LEDs, which is a very reputable company. Other companies don't offer a UV coating, so the lens will eventually discolor and become hazy over time, just like aged headlights, which doesn't look good. Connecting the resistors are very straightforward. These are required to prevent a light bulb air on your gauge cluster. With these being exposed to road debris under the truck, I did take an extra step and added split loop casing for protection. As for the bulb connection, these use the same type of spade terminal found on the rear of the bulb. This plugs into the factory connection and the connector is installed into the case just like the factory lights. LEDs offer a big advantage over incandescent lights as they have a much longer lifespan consume less energy, more durable, and produce better light output. As some of you are aware, the factory Dodge lights seem to be brittle and don't stand up very well. When I purchased this truck almost a couple years ago, these were fine. I'm usually fairly careful with my truck. While it does get used, the factory lights weren't kicked or hit. Slowly the exterior edge around the bumper opening was breaking away. I noticed a ball was out on the one side. During the removal, the light just completely fell apart. When installing the lights back into place, these are specific for each side. While they do look similar, if you have the one in the wrong location, you'll know it right away. One issue I did run into was my plastic bumper trim was pushing away from the chrome bumper, and this was caused by a stone stuck in behind. If you do run into a similar problem, make sure there is no built up of debris behind that plastic cover. These do not come with the metal retaining clips. You'll either have to reuse your old ones or purchase replacements if yours are missing or damaged. Fitment is perfect. It fits tight against the plastic trim and matches the contours. As an average, an incandescent bulb lasts about 1,000 hours versus an LED where it can last about 25,000 hours, meaning you won't have to replace your bulb so often and it'll save you money on replacements too. LEDs are about 75% more efficient, so if you replace enough lights on your vehicle, that'll mean less load on your electrical system. At night, there's a huge improvement in the light output and the looks of the lights. With the increased light output, this would help improve nighttime visibility if you do have a backup camera or if you have a trailer you're hooking up at night, so there's no need for a flashlight. Another point worth mentioning is that these are cheaper than purchasing the new replacements from Mopar. When I checked from my local dealer, one light is about $50, so essentially you can replace and upgrade both lights for the price of one OEM replacement. I'd highly recommend these lights if you're wanting to upgrade the look of your truck or if you're wanting to replace old worn out versions. High quality lights with an affordable price. Have you purchased this product in the past? 
please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.